My name is Quackersaw. And I'm Lord Forwind. Welcome back to our Two Gamers, One Faith. It's looking more gonna, hopeful. Yeah, we, we've had a series of good episodes. Let me get out of this uh, Crimea War so yes. that we can maybe get some other stuff going on. You have to unpause it. Yep. There you go. I've been doing an agenda on my end so I can see some estate land. So I want to attack France, but they're guaranteed by Spain. And Forwin wants to attack Austria, and he's allied to Spain. So we have interests that align. I just, re my state rebels just popped up in a province that had 20,000 uh, people from the Holy War in it. So that solves my rebel issue. <laughs> Bam. About as convenient as you get. Yep. Holy War is raging. Um, how's it going? Um, Bohemia, I think Bohemia is losing. Might actually win that. It's technically losing. Yeah, he's losing because of war score. Uh, well, yeah, he's losing because of battles, most likely. Yeah. Yep. Eight, negative twenty-seven from battles. He's getting ticking. However, but he, as he yeah, if he gets people out, he's gonna be fine. Hope. But knowing the AI, uh, the best he's probably ever going to do is a religious piece now. It wouldn't be the worst thing for me. Anything that allows me um, to use my religious war CB. Sensing of heresy there. I've got some pretty nice conversion strength. Speaking of which, I should probably be using my 173 popple influence. Yeah, it's usually a good idea. Wish I had Papal Influence. You'd think you'd get some and could do those things, but you can't. As, As the Pope. A little, little strange that you get no benefit from any of that. It's uh, good I've... that they uh, at least gave you some stuff this patch. You used to have nothing. Serbia went Catholic. Yep. They're doing that more this patch, the way uh, subjects try to become your um, religion if it makes sense. Well, I think they were already Catholic because they only owned a Catholic province, but it helps. That's true. That might have happened. Well, I, I know Albania was uh, Orthodox, and then I vassalized him, and bam, he's Catholic, and I didn't do it. Yeah. I've seen it, it seems like, this patch more often. Well, good that I can convert all their provinces before I annex them. Although, Serbia is a pretty good vassal. But nah, I definitely need to annex them. I'm going to have rebels down here. Should probably make it a trade company. It only has one trade center, though. So I'm not going to eat a thing out of it. Merchant. But I might end one more war. I take Djerba. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a doofus. God dang it. I just attacked Orlean A and then forgot that the guys that I'm using claims for mm -hmm. are uh, goodaged. Oops. <laughs> so I have to pay Diplo and a, a extra aggressive expansion if I want to take that land. Yes. Uh, we're also going to need to attack France at some point, but whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the Crimea War to get done. I swapped Ingolstadt to a brewery for the free 0.5 goods produced. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I don't remember what it was before, but might as well get the good production out of it. Oh wow, he doesn't want Crimea. He flipped it all to me. I thought he would, because uh... he he seized it down and had it claimed. You know, he kept it for a while. Really? Interesting. Maybe he likes you he enough? Was, enough favors? Yeah, he either hit a trust level or he, he became an administrator. Yeah, I think he switched. Yeah, he's 48. He just switched dynasties. Or he switched rulers. He's back out. Would it be worth me trying to consistently keep putting my dynasty on their throne in hopes that I can get uh, a union over them when they swap? You need to do it. If you're going to do it, you need to do it in the next 40 years. 
some time in the early 1600s is when they swap. Okay, well, I can devote one diplomat just to supporting heirs with them pretty much for the rest of the games. Combination. Yeah, you're at 30%. If you had done it, had to have been a little while ago because Brandenburg already has 15 points towards the thing, and they have 48. So you, it's harder this patch because of the way the mechanics work. Yeah. Um, they keep they keep raising their own guy more often now. It's good. It seems weird they would eagerly want other dynasties taking over their uh, stuff. Yeah, it, it happened more often than historical, so I agree with that change, I think. Uh, Milan allied Austria. Who did? Milan. On the other hand, we could attack... Uh, and now uh, we still have the issue of Spain. No, that's no 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 worries. We will uh, do the Spain war, and then I will put one guy in Milan, and when you attack Austria. I'll we'll call you in, war. and yeah. Because you've got claims on all of Milan's territories now. I'm probably not going to take it in that war for aggressive expansion purposes, but... Yeah. Uh, re just reducing him by, say, like breaking all his alliances that would be cool you can also release parma and give a province to saluzzo as long want. as you released it yeah because uh i would lose my claims if i released something yeah i can release i think the ottomans are swinging the war in favor of the protestants that's just funny because they're getting wrecked by the mamluks yeah in favor of the pope he's on the protestant side I thought I said in favor of the Protestants. Sorry. Oh, see, yeah, that's that's an example of what I was talking about. Discord cut you off. Really? You just went puh. You just went puh. That's annoying. Probably has to do with your mic. Yeah, uh, maybe. Eight, eight settings in uh... Discord. Yeah. I don't think they give you access to your gate settings in Discord though. It's just dumb. It's just automatic. Uh, I'm going to need a war sooner rather than later because I can't oh. get my troops. Oh, wait. I can do the um, black flagging. Duh. I'll oh. do that. I've got rebels in one of my provinces. I'm almost ready. I just got to get to Jean out in there on his capital. 14% uh, with a wall breach and a 71% on another fort. Oh, never mind. Uh, the uh, holy war people stumbled across my rebels. Huh. Again. <laughs> To be fair, everybody's walking through my lands, so. I am being a neutral pope. I am not interfering. If if Catholicism wins, good for them. If it doesn't, I will kill them all. <laughs> He's totally neutral, as you can tell. I just got victory cards on Venice. You did? Yeah. Oh, I have one too. Game's wanting us to fight, Quagger. Yeah, that's why it did that. Yeah. I do like the fact you can raise troops in your subjects' provinces. Very nice. As long as they don't have uh, too much liberty desire. Yeah. Which I think is smart. It's a nice balance. And then, Ajam, you need to give me. What do you call that? Ooh, let's keep Mamlux out of the coalition. Probably a smart move. Got a hundred thousand troops, so there might be a slight issue. Pretty sure the Commonwealth has like a hundred and fifty thousand troops. Just him. Hundred five and, and seventy six. So yeah. Oh wow, it's even more than I estimated. Uh, I think Muscovy is finally starting to hit their stride. Yeah, they just got their ambition. Actually, you know what? Yeah, see, I don't want the Ottomans. Do 
It is. I gotta go take care of Tunisian rebels. It's glorious watching the Ottomans get crushed, though. Yeah, that's usually pretty good. Hungary. Oh, I got Ferrar in the rebels as well. Hungary has cores on Bohemian. Yep, he's got a good set of cores on Bohemia. That shouldn't go away for quite a while. 1706, so I'll use that later. I'm almost ready. I just got to clean up rebels yep. and core. I've been building up, uh, building my, reorganizing and building my army. I'm going to build a 14 stack. Also going to upgrade my forts because inevitably my capital region is going to get attacked again. That's not a bad idea. Build it here. We're going to be at war with Spain, so my navy needs to go hide in the Caucasus. Yeah. Terrifying Spanish Navy. Uh, admin points is fine. Or more uh, correctly, admin points are fine because grammar is a thing. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Or to be funny, apparent. I just married him. It wouldn't cost me money. Ah, and I also need to invest a bunch of money. I have 3,700 ducats. I've got 88, but I spend most. I just got four manufacturer, two manufacturers and two upgraded forts going, so. Oh, the lag. <laughs> yep. Enjoyable lag. Enjoy the lag, right. or else you'll hate the lag. This is... No, Avaruj. I just I just improved with you to start annexing you. Why would I make you a, a march? All right, I'm at 50,000 manpower. I just built a 14 stack in the Coxes to keep uh, rebels down. Or kill them when they pop, more accurately. Not to keep them down. Because that's not going to be enough. Nope. Oh my god, I click, and then like 20 seconds later, the thing happens. Land maintenance modifier reductions. That's not a bad thing. Hungary. Now, I am a little behind in military tech, but so is Spain. He's on 13. Hungary is having Cossack issues. He's also at war in the Spanish Crusade against Musica, so his troops may be in the New World. That would be handy. That would be very handy. Let's check on... Where's my 24 stack? He's in here. If I attack France... We're looking at 49,000 infantry between France and uh, Spain. I, if I attack Austria, we'll be at war with Orleans, Spain, Milan, and Staten now. Wow, you got a couple guys. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, but I think we should concentrate on uh, beating Spain up a little bit before we start that second war. Yeah. So I can, so I can run. Uh, I just on. got called into a Commonwealth war. Oh, okay. Against the Netherlands, Riga, and Trikonal. Trikonal. It's not okay. going to affect you, me at all. I would say, do you want that to affect you? Or, or you just, I think the Commonwealth will handle that. The only the one worst who thing that's going to happen is you're going to get seized a bit. Yeah, the Netherlands will show up. But I can yeah. I can start another war. All right. I am fairly confident I can take this. Um, are they going to be dumb? Yep, they're going to be dumb. God damn it, boats. I've got to go hide my navy. Yeah. But I need to use them to transport to... Ottomans, Ottomans lost a nice chunk of land. <clears throat> oh, did they finally peace out? Yep. Uh, that's relatively modest. He only took five provinces. No, six, because Anitab 
game's giving me prestige and devotion. I'm at 100 of both. Yeah. Because I'm the Pope. Yep. Pope's very prestigious. I've got 86 prestige, and I've got 71 legitimacy, so I'm not doing bad either. Religious right. ideas are really, really strong with that one prestige. What about here? The Danish are invading my land. Oh, he finished his war. All right, France. You must die. Go. You go there, you go there, you go here. We're going to try to take a fort of the Spanish immediately. Um, I may have to delay the start of my Austria war a little bit. Just everybody's invading me. Nice. Yeah, I would wait. I've got to kick the Danish out of my, off my forts first. The irony is the Commonwealth has more than enough troops to win this war, but they're going to invade through uh, Sweden first. Yeah. Ah. All right, I stacked wipe the only French army. <laughs> <laughs> what a great accomplishment. It was a four stack. <laughs> it... It kind, uh, the, of, kind of feels bad beating up the uh, the French to some degree. Yeah, at this point. The Spanish are invading me with a one stack, and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, no. Fear the one stack. I suppose I can send a guy home. I could send my army south if need be, but that one stack's only going to get so far before it just runs. Oh, away. yeah. I, 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 yeah, or your help would help so we could get the Austrian more sooner because I can help quicker if we get Spain kind of pressured. Yeah. Um, okay. I will send a troop down to kick him out of there. Actually, nope. Uh, that's going to be delayed a little bit because the Danish are back. They already lost round one, but they're going to be ready for round two. Uh, they brought friends. <laughs> they They brought the Netherlands. Yep. Ah, but they're smart enough. They're just... Mm, that is a Netherlands yep. stack. I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't fight that. No, yeah, I... He finally made it. I was trying to pressure him off of it. I, it. Pressure is 63k off of that? I managed to pressure larger armies off with smallers before, but it's not going to happen in this yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, don't. Really, this war just goes down to me waiting until the uh, Commonwealth actually does something. What do we want? Probably tax. Fine. Bohemia is reelected. Oh, I just smashed another Danish army. That means they haven't lost their war completely yet. They're going to, though, I think, at this point. No, oh, they're actually... They were fully occupied. They're not fully occupied anymore. Oh. Yay. <laughs> they were negative 55. They're negative 33 now. So they're not going to take the religious uh, and seed defeat. Uh, at this point... Oh, they just took their capital back. That's a good sign. 29, There's yes. Spanish, and I am now... Yeah. Uh, my freaking general on the most important fort died, and I might have to retreat from that. Yep, Spanish are coming in. Dutch siege ability is annoying. I can't even touch the Dutch. I'm just in full retreat from the Dutch army. Oh wait, here's the Commonwealth. Are you gonna help? Nope. They what was in... that? That was somebody moving a chair where I am. Oh, okay. I thought you like broke your entire setup there for a second no it was one of those uh reclining chairs that when you put the legs up and then put them down it kind of rockets forward i don't know if you've ever used one other people know what it is yeah i'm not 
No, it's not bringing anything to mind off that description, but... Netherlands. Hey, 4,000 cannons. The Netherlands stack is terrifying. Although they are sitting on a five attrition province, which is nice. And... They're going to reinforce. Then they retreated immediately. Eh, beat the... Spanish. Osberg. Osberg is reoccupying your land for you. Appreciate it. I really wish I could help, but <laughs> the Dutch are invading. Well, you can't do anything against 101k. No, but I'm waiting till they split up once the fort goes down. Either that, or I'm help. I'm help. I'm picking off the Danish armies with the Polish. That's a reasonable idea. Basically, I just hide in my land until they expose one of their armies, and then I just pounce. I uh, love how I can give away like uh, ten prestige and be back up to a hundred, and within a couple months. Really nice, isn't it? Seriously, Poland, please help me. <laughs> Please help me. Yeah, he'd be more, better served to just finish the war. Come on. Uh, there we go. Defender of the Faith. Against uh, Burgundy. Meaning he's Protestant. Yep. Poland, we just got a, got a big victory in my lands. Poland's 54 stack helped, finally. I'm missing a stack. Oh, he's up in the rain. Money. Really, really game. What happened? It auto-passed, like, super wide. Like, at least 10 provinces out of the way. Yeah. It happens. It's so dumb. I'm going to try to pull the Spanish off of this fort. No, he got it. God dang it. He got the fort. Then I pulled him. Now he's attacking me. In open lands and I might die. Reinforced, but he's reinforcing. We're better than his troops, but you know, of course, numbers will make up for a lot of deficits. Of course, it helps when they run away rather than fighting you too. I mean, we beat we beat them there. They didn't just run away. Yeah, they ran out of morale. Good lord, game go the correct way that's obvious please it's not that hard alright at this point can I start the war against no oh, you, you, not if you're not going to participate no I can t participate not now participating in this one I just don't I'm the not able to keep up with both wars so okay. I would probably decline your call. Okay. Uh, I was just saying the um, uh, the Commonwealth is actually now pushing out the Dutch, so I can actually yeah. do stuff. It would be good for us to get to the point where at any point I could peace out. You know what? The best way to do it is just break alliance between Spain and Austria. True. Yeah, especially because he keeps piling on more allies. Milan, Staten, Wurzburg, and Orly. None of those are particularly terrifying. Honestly, Milan's no. probably the most dangerous. I, I converted Lorraine. If, actually, wait. I'm going to attack now because uh, two of their allies will decline call to arms. Only Milan and Staten will join, so that's 10k. Okay, don't call me then, because I yeah. don't have any way I'm, to stop. I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to yeah. call you, but I'm going to attack. Me, but 
I'm going to attack for the Restoration of Union. Cool. But that's going to have to take place next episode this week. Ah, uh, nice. Cool. <laughs> Little teaser for the next episode. All right, we'll see you guys next episode. Yes, bye, bye for now.